Hi guys, my name is Savannah with Live Bay Lash. I've been with the company for about four years now. This channel is dedicated to all things lashes and beauty. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below. So in today's video, we're going to be going over a full removal with a lash bath. So my client here, Bella, she's actually a personal friend. She went ahead and got her lashes done a while ago at a different salon, not Live Bay, but we're gonna go, do, go ahead and do a full removal on her. As you can see, she had a fun night out last night. She has a lot of makeup residue and buildup along with some strip lash glue. So we're gonna go ahead step by step and I'm gonna show you exactly how we're gonna remove and get all that residue off. So today I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start by putting the iPads down. So Bella, you can go ahead and open your eyes. Just look up at me. Perfect. And as you can see, even when she looks up, she has a lot of concealer, eyeshadow, all that kind of stuff that's still in her eyes. And we want to make sure to get all that off today so she can start fresh with a new set. I'm going to be using Live Bay's new waterproof tape. It's my favorite. I love it for removals just because it's waterproof, so the gel remover is never going to take away from it. So I'm going to go ahead and place just the two pieces of tape just so when I go ahead and I apply all that gel remover to break down the bond, I don't want it to eat at the tape. To avoid that, I'm going to go ahead and use this waterproof tape. So this glue actually won't eat through this tape. It's super strong. Go ahead and shut your eyes, Bella. Go ahead and pull it down, make sure it's comfortable enough. She has a lot of makeup in the corner, so I'm gonna go ahead and just move it down a little bit just so I'm not covering any of that so we can get it all off while we're here now. Alrighty. So the first step today is I'm going to go ahead and use our gel remover. It's fast acting, it only needs to sit on for a few minutes depending on the work and how messy it might be. So we might need it a little bit longer on Bella, but it's gonna be best for her just because she's not too sensitive, so we don't need to use a cream remover or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some lip wands. I like to keep a pack right next to me just in case, just because we're gonna be going through so many today just to get all that makeup off and I don't wanna reuse them. Alrighty, so I'm gonna start with just two lip wands today. I'm gonna use a piece size amount it, you don't need to have a ton of it just because we're gonna apply more as we go if that's needed so I like to apply with two lip wands at once be careful with their skin gel remover does seem to be a little bit stronger so it does have heavier fumes so I don't want to get a ton of it on her eyelid or, or try to avoid it if you can in any way so start at the base and you're gonna go ahead and just slowly push down you want to focus on the base only because that's where the initial bond of the adhesive started. So we want to break that down immediately. So as I go, I want to dispose these just because as you can see, she has tons of makeup buildup. So I don't want to keep reusing them and putting that old makeup residue back into the remover. So I'm going to use my and just keep pushing downward. I like to keep some paper towels next to me just because as the, as the lashes start to come off, I wanna have something to go ahead and put them on. So I keep it next to me just so I can go ahead and rinse that off and dispose as I go. You are gonna need a little bit more for Bella just because she does have so much buildup. Okay, so once those are there, we're gonna let it sit and we're gonna let it soak for just a few minutes. Like I had said, gel remover doesn't take too long to completely loosen the bond and get rid of it, so we won't have to sit for long. So sometimes people like to do a lash bath before they even go in with the remover. In this scenario, our most important thing today is just gonna get these lashes off. We don't wanna clean them just because we're not gonna keep any of them on whatsoever. So we're gonna go ahead and remove those and from there, we'll go ahead and get all this makeup residue up here off and we'll go ahead and do lash baths afterwards. And then on this eye, we're gonna do the same thing. From the base down, we'll start applying. Thankfully, she doesn't have too many left on, so these might already be ready to come off and start sliding off faster than we expected. Okay, so these actually have a lot of makeup buildup and everything like that. That's why we don't wanna use them and we wanna dispose of them. So make sure you have a lot handy with you just in case, just because this is a pretty tense removal, so we wanna have that on hand. Okay, same thing for over here. You can see on her right eye, she actually does have some lashes up at the top. We're not gonna touch those just cause it's on her skin. We wanna just go ahead and get 
what's on the lashes off first. Don't forget about the inner corners, those tend to hide. Okay, so go ahead and apply. Let it sit and you can see as they start to slide off. So we'll go through with these ones on the left eye and we will just see our, if any of them are ready to come off. You don't ever have to force a bond or force the lashes to come off. As they're ready, they'll definitely just slide right off. That's the point of the remover, so you don't have to yank anything. So make sure you have some extra towels or paper towels next to you as you go, just so that you can dispose as needed. These are completely sliding off. You can see there's some makeup buildup, things like that, that are just sitting on there. So as we go, if I were to come back to this eye and none of them were coming off, that would probably indicate that I may need some more removal to just help loosen the bond a little bit more. Or sometimes you might just need it to sit a little bit more. It completely depends on the bond and the client. If they have a ton of glue, they have a ton of makeup, it may need to sit just a little bit longer. So these ones, for instance, they're not completely off. They're not ready yet. So what we can do is we can apply just a little bit more. We don't need too much at all. There's only a few left on here. So we'll just use one little wand. We'll go ahead and just apply right at the base. We're gonna let it completely just soak in a little bit more and we'll go to this eye in the meantime. Okay, so this eye doesn't have too much. Let's just see if we need any more. Perfect. These are starting to just slide right off. We just have that makeup buildup, which we'll definitely get rid of when we go ahead and do that lash bath for her. Okay, we'll let that sit another minute or two and we'll go through. So in the meantime, what I can do is as you can see, we have some extensions on her right eye here that are literally just sitting here, probably because with all the makeup buildup and things like that, it kind of just got stuck with her makeup. So what we'll do is I like to use my tweezers. You have to be very gentle when you do this because the last thing you ever want to do is go ahead and pinch the skin or anything like that. So I like to use the good, good tweezer and my straight tweezer. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold right here and I'm gonna hold her brow and slowly, I'll start to do this and pull it very gently, be very careful because you don't wanna hurt them. You can see it completely starts to slide off. All right, so here is another lash that's just sitting there. As you can see, it's completely drenched in makeup and lash glue, it's starting to come off. We got that, as you can see, super stuck together with glue. Okay, then I'll put these down for a second. We're gonna go back to our left eye. Make sure if you ever do have a client or anything that does have this type of um, removal, make sure you do block a little bit more time for them just because realistically, people range their removals from like 15 to 30 minutes and that's for just an average removal and to break down the bond. But if for some reason someone were to come in like this, you would want a little bit extra time just to make sure you're getting all that off. And especially if you're doing a new set, you wanna make sure they're super clean. Okay, and then two as you go, if you have one that's just a little bit stubborn on there and it's compl it's just stuck on there, sometimes I like to grab my tweezers and I can actually banana peel it. So I like to grab it with this tweezer and it'll usually just pop right off. Awesome. So these are good to go. So what we'll do is we can do a lash bath and we can also go ahead and pick off all of this because she does have a lot of residue up here.
So next step, I'm gonna go ahead and use our Live Bay Lash Bath and I'm gonna go ahead and do a lash bath over her eyes. As you can see, she has lots of makeup up here and we might need to use our tweezers to go ahead and get some of that off. But in the meantime, we'll get a lash bath and we'll get any residue that's able to come off with a lash bath first. Okay, so I'm gonna use this little brush. I like to use it just because it has little bristles and it's gonna go ahead and get in between everything. Okay, so I always like to have some napkins next to me. Okay. Just gonna do a pump or two for her. And I wanna get up here too. As you can see, a lot of the makeup's gonna come off. It's gonna loosen the makeup up here that she has. We might need to do a little bit more, especially up here. You wanna try to clean this off as much as you can, just so it loosens. And as you can see, it's gonna slowly start to bring her makeup up a little bit. Keep brushing, as you can see, it's breaking down the bond. It's starting to get some of her makeup off at her lid. Make sure you're using a good amount of lash bath as you go, just so that you're not just irritating her skin by brushing it back and forth, because this is gonna take a little bit of time for you. Okay, so we can stop for a second. We can go ahead and get some tweezers and any little chunks of makeup that we have just sitting there, we can actually grab. So just be really gentle with it. You don't wanna irritate her eye. As you can see, this is gonna start coming up. And you can see this is gonna start coming off. Okay, make sure you use your napkin to get that all off. You don't wanna keep it on your tweezers. So be super careful as you do this just because you don't wanna pinch their skin at all. Move this, and if it's not really moving, that's when you can go through with more lash bath. Get it off more. So I'm only gonna use this brush for this eye. I'm gonna dispose of it just because I don't wanna use it on both eyes. Okay. Make sure they're taped down pretty well too because you don't want it to get in their eyes at all. See that's starting to come down. We can go ahead and go back in a little bit just with the tweezers and pick that off. Okay. See there's some buildup right here we can grab. So this looks like it's actually just like a mix of her strip lash glue. She wore some strip lashes because her lashes were sparse. She needed them removed. 
and then just some makeup, some eyeshadow, everything else she would wear on her eyes. This is gonna all get together. It's gonna kind of bunch up and that's okay. That way you can just get it off in chunks with your tweezers or whatever you prefer to use. Okay, you can also use some of these little lip ones and go ahead and bunch it together to start getting it off for her. I like to pull up her eyelid a little bit just so that I can actually see a little bit more and grab as I go.
So as you can see, her tape is super, super dirty. I'm gonna change it out in just a little bit when I go ahead and clean them again. I don't need to right now only because I'm focusing on her eyelid and getting all that makeup off also. Okay, so it looks like her eyelid's pretty good. We'll go through one more time just with some lash bath, just so her lashes, any makeup on her lashes are off. Okay, so as you can see, her brush has a bunch of red and makeup on it, so we want to dispose of that and get it cleaned for the next client, or else if you like to just dispose and use different ones, that totally works too. So we're gonna go ahead and start on the left eye, and we're gonna go ahead and do a lash bath and repeat the same process as this eye. So we'll go ahead and do a lash bath on her lid. Okay, I'm gonna use some of these. Okay, so these are gonna start bunching up and you can start to see it's gonna come together. I would check on your client here and there, just make sure that it's not bothering them just because this is a lot of lash bath and product we are applying to their eyes. Their eyes are very sensitive. Go ahead and dispose of these. We'll use our tweezers. We'll use our tweezers to go ahead and go through. You can see a big chunk is ready to come off. Okay, and then once it starts to dry up, you might want to do some more lash bath. You can use water, saline, whatever your preference is. I like to use lash bath because it's cleansing the eye as we go and removing with the soaps. Can use our brush too, don't forget we have that. I would always keep a good amount of these with you. They're really helpful when it comes to things like this and getting in between the lashes and even for removals like this. Okay, as you can see, her lashes have some, so slowly sift through and get that off. You can see all the makeup and stuff like that in there. It's 
So as you can see, this is starting to come off more. This eye had a little bit less makeup, so it wasn't as complicated. Push it to one side if that's easier for you. Bunch it up and then you can go in with your tweezers. over with one little lip wand. Sometimes the little swabs help just because the microfiber actually will help push the makeup off a little bit easier. Oh, you can see all that residue along with her lash extensions, old extensions on there. So for the most part, we've gotten all of her makeup off her lids and we've gotten it all for the most part off of her lashes. The next step would to be doing another lash bath on her just to go get any residue, especially if she's gonna get a new set. We wanna make sure everything's off. Otherwise, we're gonna have really bad retention issues. So one last lash bath. What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to actually rinse her with a little bit of water and then I'm gonna fan her and then I'm gonna do another lash bath and I'm gonna have her go ahead and wash her eyes or use makeup wipes just to get anything else off. So first step is to do another lash bath. Use a good amount on here. Go through again, include her eyelid. Get anything else off for her. Let it sit for a minute. Dispose of these like I had said before. Make sure to get in this lash line too. You don't want to miss anything. Go ahead and dispose. And then we're going to go ahead. Go ahead and turn your head right. I used to, I like to use a water dropper. It's super easy when you're doing lash baths. You can get them on Amazon, 99 cent store if you have any of those there where you live. Um, they're super easy and I'll show you as I go. I just, okay, it's gonna be a little bit cold, Bella, okay? And clean, perfect for that eye. You can see her natural lashes are a lot better now. You only need a little bit out of this water dropper. You don't wanna drench her eyes or if there is any existing lash bath or makeup, the last thing you want is it to go under the eye pad and irritate her. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do another lash bath right here. Like I had said, you do wanna include her lid just because she also had a lot built up on there. Go ahead and go through just like this, side to side. Get her lid. Okay. Go ahead and dispose. Okay, and then I'm going to tell her it's gonna be a little bit cold. Just go ahead and pat it dry. 
Next step would be fan. So I'm gonna go ahead, as I'm fanning, I'm gonna go ahead and remove her iPads. She can keep her eyes shut. You can see her iPads have tons of makeup and even some old extensions that were sitting on there. Same for this eye. So after I fan her, I'll go ahead and use a little bit of saline. You can use water, saline, whatever you prefer. Saline safe for the eyes, so it'll be easy on her eyes if that's the case, especially if she wears contacts, it's not gonna affect her at all. I'll just rinse a little bit just to get any residue, anything else off that may be under her eyes, if she had any makeup under there. Then I'll dab it dry, go ahead and fan her again. Okay, so make sure you have some wipes with you. All right, just gonna be a little bit, okay, Bella? Gonna be a little cold. Same for this eye, in case she has any makeup, it's gonna be a little cold. You'll see if she has any makeup, you can go ahead and get it off there. Okay, keep them shut. So as I'm fanning, I can see she does have a little of makeup under her eyes. That's completely normal. She came in wearing a little bit of foundation today, so she's gonna go ahead and keep that on. And when she goes and washes her face at the end of the day, she can go ahead and take that off. Everything when it came to doing this removal today, her concealer, her eyeshadow, her lash glue, that's all removed on my part. All right, and when you feel that it's completely dry, then you can go ahead and tell her to open her eyes. And as you can see, everything that was on before is completely off and her lashes are good to start a new set if she wanted one. So make sure that you are cleaning your tweezers and sterilizing them before you go into your next set. You don't wanna keep any residue that may be on them from the prior removal on that so that you can start fresh. Make sure if you do have a client that comes in that has a removal like this, make sure you're blocking off enough time. Unfortunately, a quick 30 minute removal, you're gonna need a little bit more time than the average removal if there's a lot of makeup or especially lash glue. So make sure you do block that time and make sure everything's sterilized and you have all your cleaning products right next to you because you will need a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you found value in this video. Question for you is what is the most intense removal you've done? Go ahead and leave your comment in the section below and we'll see you in the next video.